Hey guys, we're back. And this is the utility video for mastery setups. Now, as you can see here, I actually have I have 5 on Mystic Dispersion, 3 on Pacify, and uh, 1 Dexterity, 3 Parry, and I think it's Stupefy, yeah. Um, so basically, let's get down to it. Now, some people that I come across in Arena and such will have like Limbo at rank 5 and such. I think this is an okay idea, especially if you have a Juggernaut as a boss, and uh, not, at, well, not as a boss, but maybe as a mini boss on middle mini and such, because then they can't uh, get a few hits in, at least more than like one or so while you're stunned. But I don't think it's really worth the mastery points. Parry is a must have at level 3, of course, and of co in case it's not in a court, of course, this is why. Because you need to have it, because a lot of the time you will end up parrying in case you can't get that intercept down, or in case it's a late block with a special. You still, you can't rely entirely on intercepting, it's, or blocking uh, on that matter. So I have, I could bring uh, these three over here so they gain less health and power, but in my opinion that one's not as important as having the stun timer. So in case you guys haven't seen my storm stun timer video, I have, um, basically you just use the first special, get 10 hits in, barely, uh, just, uh, get the 10 hits in, spam the first again, rinse, repeat for a little bit, and then eventually you'll go be below one bar of power and you can't pull it off. But what I'm getting at is you have to have that at level 3 to pull that off, and that's why mine's at level 3. I don't think you really need it at level 3, so if you want to put more on limber or dexterity now the thing about dexterity i've noticed is if you have it at 3v3 i mean level 3 3v3 sure. at level 3 it actually has a hot, really high percent chance of getting the crit so i feel like it's more like a 70 percent chance instead of a 30 percent chance like it says not 30 percent uh, oh yeah they got rid of percentages didn't they whatever well i think they used to have like a percent like 20 10, 20, 30, or something like that. But basically, when you have it at level 3, it's a high percent crit rate. So I did have Dexterity at level 3, because I didn't really want to have Limbo, I mean Stupefy at level 3. But Pacify is almost a must-have at level 3, because this is what reduces abilities. The main point of this is Magique's Limbo, limbo but it's less of the evade factor with Spider-Man and such. If you're in the lower class AW tiers and you don't want to go for a Mystic Dispersion, which is the, another main reason why I have more focused on utility and less on willpower and such, I would suggest that you uh, only have it at level 1 or level 2 because when you're facing an evade champ, you really don't need to have it at max to stop the evade, only level 1 or level 2. I've had it lev at level 1, and I haven't experienced them in evading, but I'm sure it's still possible. So, as you guys can see, I have Mystic Dispersion at rank 5. That's also why I have little points in defense, so I can also mas maximize offense. Now, the whole point with these things, the Scouter Lens, this is a really underrated fu function of AW Wars. So, I haven't purchased them because... I take uh, the middle, and that's really easy to predict, because it's only ever skill, science, or... Well, I can't really say only anymore, since I've uh, encountered a Yondu, but... Basically, it's always going to be, almost always going to be Juggernaut, Dormammu, Mordo, Silver War, Black Panther, or Nightcrawler. Those are pretty much the five, so I really don't care about having Scouter Lens, but some people, when they have, like, a specific champ, like... It's, I'm having trouble coming up with an example, but I know that there are certain types of champs that are on the type of node, and you bring that type, that scouter lens, to know what type it is, and that way you can use what champ you need to face that champ. So, let's say you're going to face a, a middle mini boss or something. You don't know if it's going to be a juggernaut or if it's going to just be a Spider-Man or something, and you have a Black Widow, slash Crossbone, slash Gwenpool, whatever you want to do, or you have an OG Vision, or Magique, etc. The list could go on. 
So basically, with Scouter Lens, you could tell the difference if it's going to be Juggernaut, Mordo, etc., or if it's going to be a Spider-Man, in which you need to bring uh, Gwenpool. Now, of course, with your tier in AW, you should be able to predict this as well. I've only come across an, uh, a Spider-Man and Electro once while we were in Exilum, and that was when we were facing people in, I think it was like tier 9 to 12, but... So I do have Cosmic Awareness unlocked. That's just because I had a few Cosmic things and I didn't have to put put a Mastery Point on it. Um, I know that in the beginning, um, you definitely want to have uh, uh, Dexterity first and then Parry second. If you're a newer player, I think it's better to say to get Parry first instead of Dexterity because parrying will prevent a lot of blocking damage and will make the fights a lot lower. I've realized that I've started a f new account one time or another. I didn't. I didn't think I even cleared Act Two 100% because I got so bored since I didn't have enough time. But basically, the AI um, is different in the lower tiers, and it's harder to intercept because it's more of the laid-back style in the, of the symbioids in Maps Five. So it's a lot harder to intercept. So I suggest having Parry to start off with, and then getting intercept. Despite parry being more ex more expensive than ex dexterity, it's better to wait. Now, some people have gotten the gold thing. There's mixed reviews about this, but I think it's not worth having the gold thing unless you're at a lower level. That way you can amass gold more. But when you get the higher levels, then it's not worth the mastery thing. But if you're low on gold and you're a newer player, maybe around 40-ish, 30th, or even lower, um, then I suggest you should get this. I don't think it's really worth getting it until after you've gotten your offense mastery set up, though. Especially since some of them require Carbonite Core, and sometimes you get Stony Mastery Cores for free. From, like, event quests, like Rockets, Workshop, or the Calendar and such. So I think that you should get the gold thing if you can, but I wouldn't sacrifice the units for it. So that's it for this video. It definitely dragged on quite a bit, but there was a lot to talk about. Um, you Refer to my Mystic Dispersion video at rank 3, 4, or 5, because that's a whole nother subject to go into, which I've made another video. And a long time, not a long time ago, but a month back or so. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And part 4 will be coming out tomorrow. Maybe a little later than this video, by a few hours or so. And that's going to be talking about the combinations you should use, when to use this, when to use that, etc. And that's it. This is Fire Elemental, signing out, and I'll catch you guys on the flip.